This is Jan from The Aging Nerd. In this video we're going to look at hardware and software encoding in FFmpeg. What is software encoding? Well, software encoding is just an application that encodes the video. The application is run by the CPU as a normal program. No special features, no nothing, it's just software being run by the CPU. The diagram is a very simplistic view of what actually happens. The video encoding is bound by the speed of the CPU and the CPU has got to contend with every other function that the system is doing right now. It's dealing with all of Windows, all of Mac OX, all of Linux, any little application that is running on the system, the CPU has to contend with all of it and then encode a video as well. Not to mention you're bound by the overall speed of your CPU as well. That's why software encoding can take quite a long time. Now here's a very simplistic view of hardware encoding. There's basically a piece of hardware in your system that purely deals with encoding video. Sometimes it's part of the actual CPU, sometimes it's a proper expansion card. Um, I can remember back in the early 80s, Real Magic cards help, used to help with encoding video. Um, most common cases is there is a chunk of the graphics card there's a section of the GPU that holds the encoding algorithms and it's purely tailored and tuned to encode videos quickly. I'm going to encode these videos on my main system. It's a Ryzen 7 3700X with 16 gig of memory and a NVIDIA RTX 2060 KO Ultra. I've installed a Corsair M.2 drive for this, so hopefully that will eliminate a lot of the I.O. write and read from the hard drive. So let's get started and we'll compare some video encoding between software and hardware. A command prompt, so let's get started. For these trials, I'm going to use a control clip. I'm going to create an FFmpeg. The clip will be 10 minutes long at a 1080 resolution at 25 frames a second. It's just going to be a blank video. I'm not going to go through the command, but if you would like to go through the command, please leave a comment. I'm going to encode this video in Apple QuickTime ProRes encoder. And for the encoding speed trials, I'm going to encode it to H.264 and H.265. I'll speed the rest of this up and we will be left with a file called output.mov at the end. This is the command I'm going to use for software encoding. FFmpeg minus I and then the input file name. And I'm going to use the encoder libx264, which is the software 264 encoder. I'm going to set the pixel format to 8-bit with the quality profile of 24. Here's the command for hardware encoding. The parameters are the same, but the command's slightly different. FFmpeg minus hardware acceleration auto. This tells FFmpeg we have hardware accelerated encoder and decoder present in the system and to use it when you need to. Now just specify the input file name as normal. Pixel format will set it to 8 bit and the hardware encoder is H264 underscores. NVINC. That is the NVIDIA's 264 encoder that is embedded into my graphics card. 
we'll set the rate control to constant and the quality profile to 24 same as the software encoded the output file name and we're ready to go right let's have a race I've lined them up so they start on the same frame I've set them off and we'll see which one is the quickest I'm going to add a speed multiplier of 30 to the video so hopefully the video won't be too long after only 49 seconds the hardware encoder has finished the software encoder comes in at 1 minute 15 or 75 seconds so over the course of a 10 minute video the hardware encoder is 26 seconds faster so over an hour's video hardware encoding would have saved 156 seconds that's over two and a half minutes saved let's do the same thing to H265 encoding hardware and software right let's have a look at the commands we're going to use I'll put them both on the screen at the same time so you can see how similar they are the hardware one we're invoking the hardware -like acceleration and using the hvec underscore nvinc codec and a 24 quality profile for software we're just using the libx265 encoder which is the inbuilt software encoder please remember that the 265 encoding is a lot more efficient than 264 but it takes quite a while longer I expect it to take longer than the 265 encoding and to tax the GPU and the CPU a lot more let's race these two I've lined them up frame perfect and started them let's see which one comes out the fastest I've sped the video up by 50 times speed just because the video is getting on a bit I don't know what it is at the minute I just can't seem to be able to make a short video I can only apologize for the length of the video and I hope you guys are staying with me the hardware encoding is coming to an end it took 112 seconds to encode a 10 minute video right I'll speed back up the video again and we'll see how long the software one takes I've sped the video up by 100% speed so hopefully it won't take too long on screen so the software encoding is coming to an end it took 258 seconds to encode a 10 minute video 146 seconds was saved encoding by hardware rather than software it works out it was a 57% saving in time encoding by hardware going off these timings if we encoded an hour long video clip we would save over 14 and a half minutes encoding it through hardware over software which is a significant amount this has been Jan from the aging nerd in the video I haven't really gone into much details about the commands used if you would like me to go into further detail please leave a comment below I'll leave all the commands and everything in the description if you liked the video thumbs up if you didn't like the video thumbs down and please consider subscribing